Oh, here's a good one to look at. Sailing rules. I... Yeah, I can do that. Okay. So, sailing rules. Right? It's rule 12. Rule 12. The conduct of sailing vessels. So if the, it's all relative to the wind. The wind's coming from here. There's three parts to the rule. The first part are the most important in my mind. The third one is kind of a combination of the two with a little bit of discrepancy. I don't know whether I'm poor and starboard because they're going downwind. So the first part says when two sailing vessels have the wind hitting on opposite sides, the one that has the wind on the port side shall stay out of the way of the other. Here's the sails. So, say vessel one, vessel two. Which vessel has the wind on the port side? Vessel one. Vessel one. So he's on port, and vessel two is on starboard. Vessel one, the vessel on port, needs to stay out of the way of the other. The second part of the rule states, when two sailing vessels have wind on the same side, the vessel which is to windward shall stay out of the way of the other. So if you draw a line perpendicular to the wind, the line that's further upwind is the windward vessel. The vessel which has its line further downwind is the leeward vessel. Most of the time you hear, you'll hear sailors say leeward, mm -hmm. right? Not leeward. Maybe to the lee of an island or the leeward side. Well, it's usually leeward, the leeward side of an island. Yeah. It's kind of weird. You ever it's read weird? You ever read Moby Dick? Yeah. They use larboard instead of starboard. Yeah, I never figured that out. <laughs> yeah, that's that stuff is. I think they had different boards that they put down like. Mm -hmm. Oh, one of my friends, one of my schooner friends named Stephanie was telling me about it. It was her, her question. She's like, I want to think of a question. And you're going to have to answer it. Why was it larboard? Okay, so part two. When two sailing vessels have the wind on the same side, in this case starboard, the vessel to windward so shall stay out of the way of the other. Okay. And it makes sense if you think about if there were an obstruction. Let's say there's corrugated pile right here. Lured boat is trapped. Right, if you're both headed like this to an obstruction, let's say it's shallow water even. Mm-hmm. Windward boat must tack before the leeward boat can tack. Ah, okay. I see. Yeah, right. That makes sense now. Yeah. If you're coming up to a wall, leeward boat could just, you know, meander and or the windward boat could could tack and get out of the way where the leeward boat would tack right into the windward boat. Okay. And then the third part of the rule is a little bit more abstract. It says, wind is here. It says, if a vessel on port tack, sorry, if a vessel is on port tack and sees a vessel to windward and cannot determine with certainty which tack they're on, they must give way. If this vessel was on starboard, it would have right away. You can't tell. Oh, okay. So you assume it does and stay out of the way. The, no, it's written for only a port tack. Well, the downwind boat is on a starboard tack. Then there's starboard and leeward they have right away. Starboard and leeward. Yeah, they'd be starboard and they'd be leeward. Both the stand on vessel here. Okay. You see what I mean? Yeah. So, if they were on starboard, even if this vessel was on starboard too, they'd have right away. But they're on port and they can't determine with cer certainty which tack this windward boat's on, they give way. 
So you can see it's kind of a combination of the first two with a little bit of uncertainty. In general, when there's uncertainty, they go to worst case scenario. If you can't tell whether you're in an overtaking situation or a crossing situation, you must assume it's an overtaking situation. If you can't tell with certainty whether you're in a head-on situation or a crossing situation, you assume it's a head-on situation. Okay. If you're on a port tack and see a vessel to windward and cannot determine with certainty whether they're on port or starboard, you just assume they're on starboard and give way. Makes sense.